Hello everybody! It's Friday! It's the last day of the week. It's book week and woohoo! We're gonna have fun today because I have got something that I think you are going to enjoy because today we are going to be proper performance poets. We are going to perform a very famous Michael Rosen poem and I'm hoping that you are going to enjoy doing this. You can use actions you can use rhythm that we talked about this week you can even dress up if you want to for this you can do whatever you want to make your poem really 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 cool and most importantly you're gonna need to get your grown-ups involved in it too because i want them to be in your poem now hands up who's heard this poem before I can see a few hands. Hands up, who's got a copy of this book at home? I can see quite a few hands as well. Yes, this is Michael Rosen's most famous work, probably. It's the We're Going on a Bear Hunt book, and it is a poem. Just because it's written as a kind of story doesn't mean that it's not a poem. It is a brilliant poem all about this family going on a bear hunt, looking for that bear. There's lots of repetitive language in there, so it's very easy to remember. There's lots of brilliant onomatopoeic language in there, like splash, splosh, splash, splosh, splash, splosh. I love this book. It's brilliant for all ages, and it is an amazing poem, and even better to perform it. Now, as I said earlier, when you're performing, you could dress up like the characters. You might get a bear involved somehow. Ooh, how might you do that? Very exciting. But before we can even begin to think about performing a poem, we're going to need to have some good tips on how to perform a poem well. Well, luckily, I've got some of that for you today. So let's find it. OK, here we have a little video from BBC. It's a great one, all about how poems are performed. I'm going to get rid of me. Bye bye. And here we go. What I love about poetry is that you can perform it anywhere. There are performance spaces all around us. In the bedroom, in the playground, on a balcony, even from outer space. Through poetry, I get to play with words and experiment with how I say different things. Sometimes I perform a poem loudly. loudly. The war drums boom and shake the metal from the land. Sometimes I perform a poem quietly. The tiny mouse peeps and creeps as you sleep. Sometimes I perform a poem quickly. Fantastic fireworks fizz with fiery flame. Or slowly. I was at the end of the race, about to cross the finish line. Or mix it up. The rain was pattering. Then the thunder boomed. The lightning zipped, zapped, snapped. I was drenched to the bone. When I'm performing a poem, I like to think about the tone of the poem. Is it a happy poem or a sad poem? Is it an angry poem or a confused poem? Thinking about emotions in this way can help make the meaning of the poem more easily understood by making the tone clear. The grey clouds wept a bucket of rain down on me on the stone grey streets. Sometimes a poem is written in the actual voice of a character, and if so, I will think about what that character might sound like. I am the troll that lives under the bridge. I eat all manner of things I once ate a fridge. As well as using your voice, you can also use your body when performing poems. You can perform a poem sitting. My granddad's chair was a big, leather, dusty thing where coins hid down the cushions. Or even laying down. Gazing up at the winter sky, I saw the snowflake form. You can also use actions. Your body can help bring a poem to life. Instead of just hearing the words, a body can help an audience see the world that the words create. I often learn a poem off by heart to free up my hands, using simple actions and gestures to highlight certain words and phrases. I crept past a tiger, ran up a mountain, leaped over a canyon and landed in a swamp. It's always lovely to notice the positive in a performance, to focus on what you noticed, what stood out, what made you smile and what you remember. 
Sometimes when I perform a poem, I run out of things to say about the poem. I find it helpful to keep a list of words nearby. Words like interesting, dynamic, exciting, thrilling, emotional, hard hitting. Growing up, I used to love putting on a show, but it took me a while to realize that you can put on a show with poetry just about anywhere using all your acting skills to entertain friends or even tell someone that you miss them can be a whole lot of fun. Wow, what a lot of great advice on how to write an amazing poem. I certainly learned a lot there, like how you might use your voice for the loudest part of the poem, or perhaps for a quiet, sneaky part. There's certainly a bit in this poem, we're going on a bear hunt, where we might need to use a quiet, sneaky voice. What's that? Ooh, and then sometimes you have to mix it up. That was a bit exciting, that bit, wasn't it? Indeed. And then when they're running from the bear, oh my goodness, I think I might need to use a quick voice. Quick, back through the cave, tiptoe, 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 back through the snowstorm, woo, 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 back through the forest, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. Just like we saw in the video, how we use our voice is very important for how we perform our poem and I hope that you'll be able to use some of that in your poem today. Now, don't worry if you haven't got a copy of We're Going on a Bear Hunt, because there is a place where you can see the whole poem performed by the master himself, Michael Rosen, and it'll also give you some good tips of how you might choose to perform it yourself. So let me show you where you can find it. Right, if you come onto YouTube and you search for We're Going on a Bear Hunt by Michael Rosen, or you can copy in this YouTube link, um, then you will find this video here, which is called Michael Rosen Performs We're Going on a Bear Hunt. And I'll just show you the beginning of it so you get a flavour of what it's like. But if you want to watch the full thing, obviously you can go and find that and then come back to me in a minute. So if you're going to go and watch the full thing, you can pause this video now, you can go and watch it and then come back to me. Or if you just want to get a little flavour of it, here's a little flavour for you now. We're going on a bear hunt, celebrating 25 years. Hi, my name's Michael Rosen and I help make a book called We're Going on a Bear Hunt. And it goes something like this. Choo -choo 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 we're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh. Grass. Long wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no. We got to go through it. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Choo-choo, choo, 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 choo. Chum, chum. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh. You guys get the idea. He's brilliant. And look at the way he used his voice. He used his voice. Uh-oh. For expression or his actions to demonstrate certain things. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy you could do exactly that too. So if you haven't already and you want to watch the rest of that video with Michael Rosen, please go find it on YouTube and then come back to me. If you've got your own copy of the book, even easier. So what I'm going to ask you to do is, if you want to perform the whole poem, you can, or if you just want to pick a section of the poem that is your favourite to perform, you can do that too. Now you can dress up if you want to, to get yourself in character, but you don't have to. But we are going to need to concentrate on that expressive voice, on those actions and those things that we can do to really make the poem come alive. And yes, I do want you to get your grown-ups involved in this. I think that's really important. Mummy or daddy or whoever's at home could be a character in the poem as well. They could do some of the background noises. They could be joining in with you, swishing through the long grass or stumble tripping through the wood or crossing the dangerous river. I'd love to see how they can get involved. Maybe they're going to be chasing after you as the bear and you're telling the poem as you're running back to your bed through all the different things very, very quickly, very excitedly. It's up to you which section you perform or the whole thing if you want to. And please, please, please do send these videos through to your teachers when you have finished. 
Now, sometimes uh, sending the videos on Class Dojo can be a bit problematic. If that's the case, you might find it easier to send the video in an email to your class teacher. You should hopefully have their email address. And if that doesn't work because the file's too big, well, I'm sure your teacher can let you know some other ways that you might be able to share them via Google Drive or something like that, because we would love to have a copy of these videos because if possible, and if your parents say, yes, that's OK, which we will double check, of course, it would be brilliant if we could compile all of your poems that you've performed, or rather all of your different versions of We're Going on a Bear Hunt, and make a super cut where you could watch the whole poem and see lots of different children from year two performing little sections of the poem. That's something I'd quite like to be able to create, if possible but we'll have to see what we get back. So I hope you have fun. And just for a little demonstration of something you could come up with, maybe I could have a go at demonstrating it and you could watch this. Are you ready? We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a swirling, whirling snowstorm. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no! We've got to go through it! Ah! What did you think? Did you like it? I'm not sure my uh, substitute little boy enjoyed it so much, but uh, hopefully he enjoyed it a little bit at least. He's off now to go and get a rest, I think. I don't think he liked that at all. I was a bit too noisy. But I hope that gives you an idea of what you can get up to. And I hope you have fun with your poems. Do you like my dad hat too? Yeah. Well, that's we're going on a bear hunt. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. And oh, just before I go, we better check out clue number four for who our special character is from a Michael Rosen poem or book clue number four some people laugh at me i just run away i sit on a bench i can hear children say it's a mm, i think i've worked out who the character is have you which character in one of michael rosen's books ran away from people laughing at them sat on a bench and heard children say it's a I think you've got it. Have fun. Can't wait to see your poems. See you soon, guys. Bye.